You ask people in San Francisco who they call when they need a ride, and you hear a lot of this. I'm usually taking Uber. Uh, Lyft. If Uber's cheaper or Lyft is cheaper, depending on which one is which one I usually catch. But the habit of grabbing a ride share might be one you want to reconsider. If you check the prices, they have gone up. Oh, I've, I've noticed it where, like, you know, to go like five or ten miles, it's like $60. You know what I mean? And, and one time it'll be $60 with Uber, then I'll go over to Lyft and it's 12 It makes no sense. It could be hit or miss. It could be a Wednesday afternoon. It could be a Friday night. It really doesn't matter. You just kind of have to look. This price issue is pushing people to go old school and grab a cab. In one word, it's just wonderful. I mean, these drivers have really been hit hard over the past year. Hansu Kim says his taxi cab app company, Flywheel, has seen a significant increase in business as Uber and Lyft charge more for rides. We're seeing in uh, just a record number of downloads this past few weeks, um, and mainly because Uber and Lyft have been surge pricing their rides here, which has, I think, alienated a lot of their customers. In a statement to ABC7 News, Lyft acknowledged demand is outpacing supply, saying earlier this spring, as vaccines rolled out and people started moving again, we began to see the demand for rides outpace the number of available drivers. We've added thousands of drivers in the past few weeks, and it's already leading to a better rider experience with wait times down more than 15% nationwide. And lucky for Uber and Lyft, not everyone has noticed yet, so they can possibly get more drivers on the road and get these price issues sorted out before things really get back to normal. I have not taken a lift since the pandemic, so I have no idea about the prices.